Hey guys, awesome show for you today. You know, we come to the Traverse City region every year. This year, we teamed up for a couple of great shows. First half of this show is gonna be an awesome lake trout jigging show with Captain Bob Hines, right here from Central Coast Angling in Traverse City. The second one, a local boy again. Captain Tony Filippo and I go out on, on the big water in the fall to catch some awesome smallmouth bass right here in the Traverse City region. Stay tuned for an awesome show. Yeah, this is fun. I'll tell you what I got on, guys, while I fight this. I got a Luna Jig on, and it's a brand new color that the folks at Luna Jig painted up. And uh, tell you what, Dan was nice enough to hand it to me this morning, put it on. This is fish number two. Nice fish, too. Oh, Laker. Laker. Yeah, there. Small dinner, fish is out. I'll show you that. And we're keeping these fish today because Dan the man likes to smoke fish. So, oh hey, he's even going to show us what he's that eating. Was. That bait is alewife. There's a nice little laker. We're drifting on the top of a hump. It's a red wonder bread by uh, White River Tackle. It's a Luna jig. And this is the alewife that he spit up. And as you can see, um, Right now, I mean, the bait match is absolutely perfect and I'm just snap jigging it off the bottom on a super slow drift. Another nice little fish. These are what we're targeting actually today. We want these fish for eating. Big Lakers don't taste that good, but I'll tell you what, these small size are awesome and there's tons of them here in, uh, in the greater Traverse Bay area. Get him, get him. Oh, I'm, I'm hooked up, double. <laughs> I'll bass mine, you slow play yours, mine smaller. Yeah, he's coming up pretty good though. Oh yeah. Laker, double. So there's mine guys, and we're gonna grab the net. There he goes. Yeah, he saw the boat. It's a Cisco or a Laker? There he is, look at that. That's what's crazy guys. We went over that. You see them on the graph? They're all over the graph right now, and they're biting. Yep. We'll show you doubles. Those are perfect. Now you can keep two a piece, and because they're small, most people get mad and say, oh, don't keep him. No, those are the ones you want. Right there's the goby they've been eating. There is fish. We gotta put these in the yeah. lot. You, you get down there. Come on. Nope, it's still there. It's really Feisty. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh yeah. There's a big blade bait fish. Hold that one up. Whoa. I'm gonna get down there. And then another one with me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we did need Captain Bob Hines. Hey, welcome back to the show. We dropped a couple guys off at the dock, picked up Captain Bob Hines from Central Coast, and in no time we are hooked up here on beautiful Traverse Bay. We have our net man 
<laughs> that was fun. Catching fish is fun. Catching fish is fun, exactly. Yeah, everybody needs to know anything. Catching fish is fun. Catching fish rod in hand. Yeah. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Angler Quest, built with purpose. Traxtech, the ultimate fishing system. Strike King, tie one on. Garmin. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. It is a big difference between trolling around, just reeling fish up that are half dead. I know. Yep, take your time. That's why I did loosen my drag up, guys. On the hook set, you have to have enough drag, but you don't want to horse these fish at all. You'll damage them. Seriously, when you, when you hear me say that, I'm not joking. They're coming from 110 down. Be kind to my fish, please. That's right. Bob wants this fish to swim away after we just show it to you. See the bubbles? See them coming up? They're coming up because he's blowing them. <laughs> there's color. Yep, there's color. That's a little Luna jig fish right there. Oh, they do. <laughs> you know what? Brett's in the right spot. He's just going to grab that. Well, Andy shows you that, I'll show you this, and Andy will take a great picture. That's the Luna Jig, brand new color. Take a look at that one. Awesome fish. And he's whacking them. Don't go, triple going. <laughs> Reeling up, just the way Captain taught me. Jig reel, jig reel, jig reel. I mean, that fish was halfway up. I mean, yep. he was nowhere Oh yeah, they'll come close. right up to 30 feet. I've had him break the surface. Oh, just missed one right there. Break, break the surface in the evenings. Just worry about the GoPro right now. Steering. See that? Okay, here you go, man. <laughs> That's a beauty. I know, I'm putting up pressure on it. Show that one off. Wild fish. Oh, oh my goodness. We want to get this. We want to get this lure out give it up before breath. we grab it. Double I know. Breath. Double breaths. She's going to be exhausted. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to, what we're doing here, and, and, and Brett can show you this, when you get the really big ones, you want to handle them. Bob will tell you, you want to handle these things and let them recover a little bit before you take that quick picture because these, are, these, these trout are, are not replaceable. I mean, when one like this dies, it takes, what, Bob, 25 years to replace it. On Grand Traverse Bay, a fish that size, actually our growth rate's really fast, so that's probably, honestly, John, I'd say that's a eight to 10 year old fish. Eight to 10 year old fish. Yep, our growth rate is incredibly fast because of the warm water. But we still want to handle but, them with Yes, care. handle them properly, please. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show them because this is just a- It's a great trout. A beast. Oh boy, my hands are so slick from that last one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this, but now it's slick hands. There go. Get back in here with me. We're gonna let this big girl go, but hey, Captain Bob Hines, Central Coast Angling up here in the Grand Traverse region. You gotta give him a call. Bob bops around. He fishes a few different pieces of water here in Greater Michigan. Get him a call, get hooked up. Hey, thanks as always hey. to Andy, a buddy of mine. 
joins us for some of these great fishing trips. We're gonna get this girl back in the net, let her recover. Guess that's a good one. <laughs> Jig again, catch me another one. There it is. Look at that. Once she finds out where there bottom is. is. Look at that, just like a shark. <laughs> Big trout. <laughs> Go get Big another trout. one, boys. I'm greedy. Nice, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this sunshine. Sign. You want to know if you should come here? Look at this. That's all the further we are from shore. This is one bay. That's the peninsula over there. That's the other bay. This is the Greater Grand Traverse region. It is lights out for fishing. No pun intended. The lights are gonna be out soon. We're all over these trout. Brett's gonna show you a great shot of the Garmin next spot we get to, to show you just what type of a graph you're looking for when you wanna catch these fish. So when you're out here vertical jigging, it's real important to have really good electronics, first of all. Your electronics are everything. But when you're setting up on these fish, it's really important, run your kilohertz really low, have a great quality graph, such as the Garmin's here, the Echo Maps, and run your hertz, your sensitivity. There's my jig dropping right there. This is the fish. This is exactly what you want to see when you're doing this. This will keep you successful every single day out on the water. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by PolarCraft, the toughest built aluminum boats, bar none. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Lose, feel the difference. WavePro, best ride on the water. WavePro high performance boat pedestals eliminate bottoming out and back jarring impacts. Now available the 2.0 version and slider seat hubs. The best in air shock technology provides a controlled return to keep you on your seat. Fast and easy to install with permanent mounts or movable hubs for quick and easy seat placement in 10 to 16 inch models. WavePro, high performance boat pedestals, best ride on the water, online at waveproshock.com. Hey guys, we're kind of getting low light and uh, so I have no idea how long we're gonna stay out here, but one thing is for sure, if you're looking for an awesome place to fish, <laughs> look around you. The Traverse Bay area is it. We had an awesome day today jigging for lake trout. We tried early on for Cisco's. That bite uh, seemed to be dying, so we switched our attention to Lakers, and boy, it's a great thing that we did. We had a little success, you know, early in the day, five fish. And then the, tonight we've had five much bigger size fish. And uh, we took a little break in the afternoon waiting for Bob to uh, finish up with his clients for the morning. But uh, if you're looking for an awesome place, the Traverse City area has got unbelievable fishing. Uh, when you're talking about a great platform for fishing, <laughs> You can't do anything but look around at this awesome Angler Quest 24 pontoon. You know, my whole goal this year is to tour the entire state of Michigan, filming from this Angler Quest in every circumstance. As you can see, you got two guys up on the bow of the engine. Bow mount trolling motor, our force trolling motor has just been awesome this year. We've got our electronics tuned in perfectly where we can see the fish clearly on the bottom. The, the square footage, I mean, I am 20 feet away from these guys standing up, leaning against a good solid rail. Uh, this boat offers square footage unlike nothing else. It's something you really need to check out. And uh, when it comes to the area, the tr Greater Traverse City area has so much to do, beaches, trails, uh, arts and entertainment. It's got great fishing, of course. It's just got everything that a family would want to come up here, whether it's a three-day weekend or a whole week vacation. Check out the Greater Traverse City area for your next getaway.
what, a, a drop shot? <laughs> you didn't net it? <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, everybody. John Berg's my first cast of oh, the day. Oh, no. It is first cast. <laughs> it is first cast. Oh, man, need a banana to compensate for it or something. <laughs> Holy son six, of a seven. gun. Hey, we're up here at Traverse City. We're having going to have a great day. Early November, Captain Tony from Up North Smallmouth Charters. He is our resident expert for smallmouth bass. We don't know if we're on a school of Lakers or smallmouth. Yeah, this might be a Laker. Well, he's, he's not spinning like a Laker. Whatever Lakers. we've got. He's a decent small It's a big small lead. <laughs> All, right. All right, the end. <laughs> My last bite That's of the day. It. That's it. There we go, Tone. Hey, how about that? First cast. <laughs> like I said, this will be the last bite I have today, but at least it was a good one. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> hey, we're going to be throwing some Strike King drop shots. Look at that. That's got to be five. Yeah. You got to scale it? It's one all the yeah. five. No, yeah. but it's a big fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Well, thank you for playing. Yes. Yeah, we're going to get up. <laughs> Yay! I'm happy. Thank you, Tony, for taking me to a spot where I knew I could catch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get them anywhere, you know that. There we go. Yay. Look at that big chartreuse thing sticking out. Yeah, I know. Well, guys, that's that color is called siren, and you know why, because, I mean, it's like a siren. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Products. Flowfast, world's leading portable fluid transfer system. Drato catch and release boat system. We all want to keep moving, and we all need fuel to do it. Now, with the revolutionary Flow Fast system, you can fuel up and keep moving from literally anywhere. Flow Fast will pump or siphon an amazing eight gallons per minute, so you can get back to what you do best. To find out more about Flow Fast, go to flowfast.com. Flow fast, fuel up, keep moving. <laughs> See that? See what happens? The minute, the minute I start fishing, Tony catches one. I'll tell you what. If somebody's bored and they don't deer hunt, Tony. Give me a call. To, coming to Grand Traverse and calling Captain Tony is not a bad idea, is it? No. <laughs> I mean, that's kind yeah, of one solid. Of, yeah, one of the nice things about uh, the, the bays is that regardless of which wind you have almost, you can find spots to fish, right? Right. I Unless mean, it's dead north or dead northeast, it right. gets a little bit difficult, tricky. But that's a solid. Then we jump inland. Yeah, exactly. You know. That that's a solid keeper. Thanks for playing. All right, catch another one, Tony D. Fish, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. That's all. He doesn't want to come in. Oh, I had a hook funny. He's a decent one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Another solid one. Another solid A rig fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you wonder why people like to throw the Alabama rig. We'll talk about that rig a little later in the show, but we want to get back in there after we get a good picture of this fish. All right, thanks for playing, my friend. Oh, yeah. Good? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want a shot, you said? No, I already got okay. it. Okay. <laughs> uh. It's nuts. Yeah, it is. He's jumping. It's a yumping one. Tony's A rig is all busted up now. Well, Tony. It's like a tube. They get better the more busted up they are. Exactly. Expose that salt. Look at that beautiful fish. And guys, look at me. 
most guys are out tending their deer stand right now, throwing, you know, getting all ready to go deer hunting. We're like at, at uh, well, Ranch. look at the graph. Brett will turn and show you. Look at that graph. Why would you be deer hunting when there's that many smallmouth bass swimming around asking to be caught? You wanna throw this thing? Yeah, I'll throw it once. I watched where you've been throwing it. Get him, Tony. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these things are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, Tony unhooks that. Guys, if you have never fished an A-Rig, you gotta give this a try. But let me tell you, I have never caught a fish on an A-Rig. There is an art to it. I mean, I casted that three times, caught nothing. Handed it to Tony and made one cast, boom, caught another fish. Tony, show that off. Yes. Help you. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on a little bit of a blustery day here on Traverse Bay, uh, East Traverse Bay that is. Uh, hey, if you're looking to get out this fall, even into December, depending on the weather, my buddy here, Tony DiFilippo from Up North Smallmouth Charters, right online, get a hold of him, he can take you out. You're not fishing for a lot of fish at this time of the year, but you're no, fishing, no, not for numbers, you're fishing for big fish. Yep. Big yep. fish. Hey, stay tuned for another episode next week, but thanks for joining us here in the beautiful Traverse City region on East Traverse Bay. Pleasure, Dan. You bet. Right. Thank you, man. You bet. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.